A great deal of information has appeared in the pigeon press regarding the Van den Hyde clan, and I do mean clan for their father, grandfather, all their brothers and brothers-in-law, keep, breed and race pigeons. No one can doubt the abilities and success generated by René Van den Hyde or his sons Freddy and Jacques. René was, for his entire 30-plus year career at the very top of the result sheets. Freddy eventually took over the reins in the early 1990s, he achieved incredible results including provincial and national success. Jacques a retired metal worker and Freddy a primary school teacher or more specifically he is the director of a primary school that numbers some 350 students, began competing together as a team in 2008. This new combination allowed them to not only race their young and old hens but it also enabled them to participate in the long distance races with their old cocks. The combined success of the new partnership was almost immediate and in that first year they were 3rd and 8th National Ace Pigeon KBDB. So clearly synergy between the brothers is evident where together they were able to consolidate and take their individual talents to even greater heights. The Vandenhydes have created their own line based on the birds of Henk, Helterman, Vord. These pigeons have been infused with exceptional performance pigeons of local area fanciers. It is a point of great interest to note that the area of East Flanders, is to the best of my knowledge the Belgian province with the largest concentration of active racing pigeon fanciers over 11,000. Fanciers, the Van den Heides are from Zinjim just south of Ghent. Zinjim is part of a triangle of towns, Zinjim, Gavir and Asper, which the Belgians often refer to as the Golden Triangle. Why? Well Stefan Mertens in an article written by him in 2003. It is an area, more specifically the town Zinjim, Gavir and Asper, where a lot of top lofts are situated. Of course, our first question was how is it possible that there is such a concentration of top lofts in such a small area? As Freddie explained, the region is known as a real pigeon nest, and due to the hard racing results we're no longer welcome in a lot of clubs. Now. At this moment we're in a situation such that the various top lofts cannot avoid each other. So each week we race against each other. Due to this, our club has become stronger and stronger. It will not be the first time that in our club the race is finished and that other fanciers can still clock prizes in their club. And now it comes, as the selection is, most of the time, made on the local results, that our selection limit is set very high. I like to gamble and losing money is not in my plans. I also have to select my birds, and so my birds become stronger and stronger. In fact, thanks to our limits we have become stronger. Origin of Base Stock These are pigeons with an extraordinary ability to perform and an undiminished drive. The foundation of these permanent successes has its origins in the inimitable breeding power. This is an own strain of pigeons that has been formed over the years with the absolute ancestor D. E. Zekin, 88664, which was a pigeon that had been purchased at Menk Heltemann in Zandbergen, and descended from the supercouple de Corton Cross Paula, which is a couple with a lot of blood of Santens from Audenard running through its veins. De Zekin was the father of a whole series of top pigeons, racers as well as breeders, just think about De Van Louis, 20966, Den 100,000, 30976, etc. But it was especially De Jong Zekin, 465 48 95 79, who took over from his father and founded the present generation of super pigeons. He is the father of, among others, Hecrit, 810 88, who formed one of the top couples together with Anti Goon. De Kilimanjaro, 203 87 who formed another main couple of the present colony together with Expesso. Aruba, 77788 Cross Iggy, who were the parents of, amongst others, Patroon, second provincial ace pigeon KBDB long distance, who for his part, was, the father of Milo, first national ace pigeon middle distance KBDB, Eddie Lutinez. This is the main line of pigeons from which nearly all the present top breeders and top racers are descending. They form the backbone of the colony together with some pigeons from De Rauw Sablin, Lebeek, first national champion KBDB long distance, and second national ace pigeon long distance KBDB 2001, pigeons from Freddy's brother Jacques Vandenheide, 
Dirk Nachtergals in Jim, Lucy and Wills in Jim, Marnix de Han Semmerzake, Dirk Veen Devigal Liedekirk and de Shepherd de Temmerman Merrillbeek, etc. Which were all obtained to strengthen the colony. This combination of fresh blood and the original iron strain of pigeons, breeds several excellent pigeons every year. In 1994 Freddie Vandenhyde attended an off-season, winter-time, champion celebration. Present at that same event was one, Franz Sablin, half of the incredible De Rauhe Sablin partnership. Freddie and Franz met they hit it odd so to speak. They enjoyed each other's company and remained in contact and ultimately became great friends. It is funny how many things in life are purely by chance. With the passage of time these two new friends, in the true spirit of friendship decided to exchange pigeons. Not any pigeons mind you but only the very best pigeons that would do their respective breeders proud. Franz Sablin gave Freddie Vandenheide a cock from his dream couple and that cock was named Franz, and in return Freddie Vandenheide gave Franz Sablin a cock also from his best breeding pair which was then anti-goon cross het crit, and this cock was called Freddie. The year was 1994 and the rest as they say is history. Freddie, bred by Freddie Vandenheide and given to Franz Sablin as a gift and currently owned by Pros Rusin. One of the most import sires in the world today. Both of Freddie and Franz, the pigeons that is, succeeded very well indeed. From 1994 and on, Freddie Vandenheide continued to infuse de Rauhe Sablin pigeons into his line on a regular basis and the majority of these were from the de Rauhe Sablin dream couple. Freddie is in fact the father of Koopmans of a tons of exceptional pigeons including Blah Prince, Dromer, Castar as well as a host of others. So how was it that Freddie was eventually sold? In 2003, the partnership of de Rauhe Sablin unfortunately came to an end due to a serious heart condition suffered by Franz Sablin. It was decided by the partners Eddie and de Rauhe and Franz Sablin to liquidate their entire loft via public auction, and so it came to pass, and at that auction Pros Rusin was the successful bidder for Freddie and at that very same auction Freddie's son de Dromer was purchased by Koopman for 13,500 euros. The Dromer is also the brother to Koopman's Mr. Expensive and Mr. Expensive in turn is the father of Baran the 2007 winner of first national NPO Orland 640 km. The Dromer was bred by De Rauhe Sablin from Freddie Crossleave, world famous son of Freddie purchased by Koopman in 2003 at the dispersal sale of De Rauhe Sablin for 13,500 euro. So we now know the rest of the story as regards De Rauhe Sablin's Freddie. But what does Freddie Vandenheide think about the pigeons of the de Rauhe Sablin partnership that he began infusing into his line in 1994 and continues to this day? Well in 2003 at the de Rauhe Sablin dispersal sale, Freddie Vandenheide purchased Limoges. In fact Freddie and Franz purchased this pigeon jointly. Here is what Freddie's responded to my question about the true value of the de Rauhe Sablin pigeons was. Our own pigeons were already very close in bread. Above this, we mixed the de Rauhe Sablin, and so the result is super. The pigeons of de Rauhe Sablin are very good pigeons lying very good in the hand, totally in balance, great stamina, good in all weather conditions, very easy to pass on the qualities. At this moment they are the most required blood in the world, and take the important place. It is not unthinkable that within several years the blood de Rauhe Sablin will exceed that of the Janssen blood. Freddie Vandenheide and Franz Sablin of the former de Rauhe Sablin partnership in my opinion are kindred spirits. The blood of both their lofts when combined helped both these keenly observant stockmen achieve new levels of excellence rarely ever imed by others let alone achieved by others. The coming together, the cooperation and friendship of these two giants was truly synergistic achieving together much more than anyone might have imagined. In 1994 national victory number 8 and 9 for Vandenheide. The performances are amazing and they just keep on coming. In 2009, the brothers Freddy and Jacques Vandenheide triumphed from Berg's national both old birds and yearlings. These two hens demonstrate the depth within the Vandenheide lofts racing and breeding program. The Vandenheide brothers colony is synonymous with pigeon sport at the highest level. 2021 was another season of successes, from start to finish. When the name Vandenheide comes up, 
it is always with deep admiration and respect. Their miraculous results read with astonishment around the world. Van den Heide has become the golden standard in pigeon racing. The absolute number one. This is without a doubt thanks to the incredible breeding quality and the potential to pass these qualities on through generations. Every season, these Van den Heide athletes dominate the racing scene, resulting in many titles and ace pigeons at the largest competitions. On a provincial and national level, their name can always be found at the top of the famous KBDB championships. In their home province, East Flanders, where the biggest fanciers and champions battle for victory, Jacques and Freddy dominate the provincial KBDB championships. Especially on the heavy middle distance and long distance disciplines they are unstoppable. On their favorite disciplines, they are no match for the competition. First provincial champion heavy middle distance old birds. First provincial champion long distance old birds. First provincial ace pigeon heavy middle distance old birds plus an honorable mention for third place. First provincial ace pigeon long distance old birds plus second and fourth place and astonishing seven pigeons in the top 15. First provincial ace pigeon long distance yearlings plus second, third, fourth, seventh, tenth and twelfth place. Second general provincial champion despite the fact that the Van den Heide brothers put little effort into the short distance and young birds races, an impressive display of dominance. One loft, dominating like that of the brothers Van den Heide, is unique. It shows that they are still on top of their game, and more importantly at the top of the national game. At the national KBDB championships they are one of the most predominant names especially in the various ace pigeon competitions second national champion heavy middle distance old birds plus yearlings fifth national champion long distance yearlings 11th national ace pigeon heavy middle distance old birds ace pigeon all round old birds plus yearlings 4th 9th 11th 16th 22nd 24th 26th ace pigeon long distance old birds 5th 6th 8th 26th 37th, 39th, 40th, and 8th pigeon long distance yearlings, 18th, 19th, 24th, 28th, 44th. We clearly see the strength of the colony back in these figures. The brothers almost make it seem easy to rank amongst the country's best ace pigeons. However this isn't simple and can only be managed by the strongest pigeon stocks, that possess the quality opponents can only dream of. Thank you for watching. Until next time.